none of this will go in. I don't know why I'm doing it. Hello and welcome to another video from me, Mally, and my channel, Mally Davis Photography. And today we are, follow us he says, into a bog he says. They've gone. Oh they're here, he's here, look at this. Go this way, fall down this bloody hole. What the? I've took half at forest with me. We're walking through and <laughs> walking into <laughs> pub. I can't even speak. I'm done in, we've only done 30 yards. Oh wow. Who's here? Chat killed me off. Hello and welcome to Home Fan. That's right, we're down south. Gary's gonna hit me. Yeah, there's Gary. Hello. Leaving everyone behind. There's David, Jamie, and Darren. We're just missing the other pubcaster, Mr. JRB. He's on his way. But wow, what a fantastic place and to just drive down at two o'clock in the morning and be faced with this mist and st <laughs> these silver birch we couldn't have asked for more i think gary's just spotted a tree i was looking at <laughs> so <I> <laughs> <laughs> nothing to see here nothing to see there indeed look at that just look at that's beautiful I'm going to walk around the other side. I'm going to leave these reprobates for a minute. We'll have a little chat. And we'll come back and uh, see if I got anything. So reactive we got here. It was pitch black and you could see there was mist in the car headlights. It's just me and David. Mr. Griff. All set up and rocking it. We've all come boom straight in. Falling over trees. Well I have. I have and straight away we had to react because as you can see it's turning into a fine day which is not what we want we want rain we want mist we want mood but for that half an hour before the sun rose that was a bit special really really special moment I'm not sure if I've got anything I switched lenses uh, to go tight and get the telephoto shot so it can press the mist even more and just to lift the silver birch off oh wow these trees are magnificent and we've not even walked in with 100 yards and just crazy photo moment but as you can see that mist is all but gone it's a little bit behind us but the sun's coming strong and it's going to burn off even quicker now so we're going to head further in so just in case you don't know on my channel but you should you should know got mr darren knight photo d griff photographer or photo over here it looks like he's he's at the minute he, he's doing a bit of it looks like he's eating some ferns got reef photographer our Gary Norman right in the distance the man who's brought us into this place today Jamie Overland JRB Mr James Burns is in between Bram Flakes and the A1 and should be with us soon so you go thought I'd give you a little brief intro there as the madness pursued I went crazy with the camera 
Um, of course I did. <laughs> I'm not going to rock up here and wait for the mist to go. No. All of us, I think, have got some gradely, gradely shots. Um, now it's making sense of this clear, quite chaotic birch bonanza. Do you like that? Right. So there. I'm not going to try and overface myself, which is what we're talking about. I'm just going to find something that appeals to me, that jumps out and really does grab you. And, and then walk around, have a look, take it in and uh, build a composition from that point. But for now, I've got to, I've got to go because We've got a lot to talk about, as if the podcast's not enough to talk about. There's more to talk about, because we're here, we're not virtual today. Ah, oh, but we, we, I was saying about the mist, but the light coming through now. Ah, oh, that is just beautiful. Oh. Bit of inside info here, I don't think you can hear that. Right, let's go and find our composition. Or three, maybe six, possibly eight. There might be 12, more likely 20. Oh dear, we've seen a deer, oh dear. It's gone. Jamie spotted it and he's all set up but you know what I'm like I, I can't put a tripod down without making a sound like a hurricane that's why Darren's fecked off you know yeah. it is yeah. he was looking at me before like not you <laughs> da Darren will probably pop his head out of its ditch yeah it will you it? Yeah. the zeppelin yeah. <laughs> cut I'm starting to calm down I'm still falling over, but I'm starting to calm down and find my way. And uh, we've got we've got a clearing here. There must be a hundred compositions: left, right, north, east, west, south. You name it. Lovely bit of light there. Jamie's just getting these sloping trees. Gary's getting intimate with this. Uh, uh, do you know what it reminds me of? That. It, catapult it's a giant's catapult Gary's getting into that James is James is here James is here by the way he's actually made it he's over there playing with his lens cloth he's rubbing his, his lens down we've lost David which is worrying because well he's, 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 he's petite He's a reet petite he is. He'll be somewhere. He'll probably jump off a tree like a ninja, tackle me to the ground. And well Darren. Down and lost it completely. <laughs> yeah. Darren, so Darren he's, he, he went off because we're all too noisy. Hello. We've seen a deer though. I, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm proper buzzing. Look at this. It's Full of depth, full of depth. But I pre-visualized an idea. I never do this. I, I try. 
I think I've got a concept and idea. And I try and it but it, it never works. It they never come off. It's very difficult to uh to pre-visualize, especially when it's it's not somewhere you've been before. And that's me. Most of the places I've not been before. Even in the lakes, I'm still finding and still looking. It'll be like that forever, till day, till day I die. But on this occasion, I pre-visualised an idea of silver birch taken on a multiple exposure. Now, you'd say, but when you get home, you could do that in Photoshop or whatever. But there's something about what's just happened. Something so tactile, something so wonderful that to pre-visualize, have an idea and then carry it through and, and I've pulled it off. This scene we've got, it's layers in depth. We've got some here, some here, some in the distance, some further, but there's no light. It's flat. On this occasion, I quite like that because it, I can expose at one level. It's very textural, really detailed. And what I've done is I've took one shot central and then on the little technical term, the little twiddler here for doing your pano so you can spin. Just spun the camera, I'd say five or six degrees, took another shot and done the multiple exposure. So there's double the amount of silver birch and well, Let's see what you think. I'll pop it up now. I interrupt this video to tell you about the guys I'm with. We've got James R. Burns, Gary Norman, Darren Knight, David Griff and Jamie Overland and we all gathered together to spend the day, the podcast team, doing what we love best, photography. So head over to their channels and give them a subscribe. Links in the description below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Right, see you there. I've just walked away from the guys and carrying on with the discovery trail I believe oh wow discovery yeah this place is just uh, a dream it really is if you love trees you love silver birch like me wow action Behind the scenes with the podcast, the words couldn't organise. No, it's good. All good. All good. We've got. We've got. We've got someone. Oh, we're, hold on. Hello, camera. camera. Right, we've been doing some research oh. into silver birch fungi, and here we have a wonderful oh. example of a Johnson's hat. Oh. Here we have a wonderful example of a Johnson's hat. Can you see? Almost look like you, you, you could see why they get the name the Johnson hat. Time for a selfie. Can I do it? Oh, is it? I'm going to mosey over to the, have a look at the lake. Yeah. We're going to have a mosey over to, to, the, to the lake. We're coming back this way. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. <laughs> oh, what? That's dense. Oh, I love that. Jamie just pointing out there's some warm tones in. Oh, it's superb. So dense and thick. Uh, the actual 
uh, layering of the silver birch. I, I'm not going to lie, I, I'm absolutely bushed and, and uh, these trees are keeping me going. Of course, and Jamie, and Darren, and Dave. He catches up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. <gasps> That's ridiculous. Oh, my. Dave stopped there, Mr. Griff, and he was getting a very similar composition. And we walked down further, and he said, Oh, just leave us, boys. I'm just going to take a shot. And I couldn't get any further because there's a clearing and on the clearing there's this gnarly twisted birch in the middle of all the straights he, he's completely individualistic and does not want to settle with the rest of the trees and that's what really caught my eye was the personality of this this birch in the middle uh, just blows the others but the, the symmetry it works because on one side it's similar to the other because they're just straight, straight birch with his character in the middle and, and I hope this shot turns out so I'm going to look like a right pillock. Um, so, so on top of that, I'd been pre-visualising, as you know, earlier on, we did a multiple exposure. I've gone for that technique again uh, and, and overlaid um, three shots. We've got the character but of the birch tree but then I've overlaid these three here to go in the center over the top of the character tree which is made just a even more chaotic even more intense and thicker and more lines of birch and and this then I feel could be very painterly very painfully because on the multiple exposure there's, sl there's a slightly um, translucent feel about the shot I've set it to um, to do um, the exposure just a little bit lower so it doesn't look too artificial and it blends nice but we'll see in post right I'll show you that now Well, well, home fen. Quite a magical, emotional, and wonderful place. Spent with some superb gentlemen. We're down to, but they had to get home. Lightweights, can I say? So there's only one thing left to say. No, that's wrong. Said that wrong. Start again. So if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more, hit that notification bell and you'll get a notification when I put a new video out. And well, there's only one thing left to say. From home fen, Sydney. Sydney. Let's go on, do it again, do it again. Sydney. <laughs> Sydney.